Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. Reading James chapter 3, verses 16, 17, and 18. That's it. Followed by Pat's Two Cents. Okay, here we go. This wisdom, excuse me, for where envying and strife is, there is confusion and every evil work. But the wisdom that is from above is first pure, then peaceable, gentle, and easy to be entreated, full of mercy and good works without partiality and without hypocrisy. For those of you who don't know, partiality is almost similar to bigotry or, you know, okay. And the fruit of righteousness is sown in peace of them that make peace. Okay. Now, my question to you is, are you making peace or are you making war? Are you creating unity and harmony or are you stirring up strife? and confusion and every evil work. Well, I'm going to share something with you just to show you how things can get out of hand. Just as a caution. Number one, this morning my pastor was talking about how people are losing lifelong friendships over the differences of opinion dealing with all of the current events. Duh? Really? Yeah, well, I know what's happening too because I've seen how people react. They'll drop you like a ton of bricks if you're for this one and they're for that one. I mean, it's like, what happened to the love? What happened to the unity in Christ Jesus? Why are we selling out so quickly? And then it reminded me of Jesus. They laid out the palms one day. Hosanna in the highest. Oh, hallelujah. But then, when it was time to choose between him and a thief, guess what? We want Barabbas. Crucify Jesus. We want Barabbas. And it's, well, wait a minute. You just got through worshiping him. Uh, yeah. Well, that's the way people are. People are fickle. They'll love you one minute, they'll crucify you the next. And it doesn't take much. That's why God wants us to love one another. Because true love does not flush each other down the toilet at the first sign of a disagreement. It just, love just doesn't act that way. So if you find yourself being so quick to cut your friends loose, over a stranger? That man over there or over there or whoever you're pulling for, they're not going to put money in your pocket, but your friend will. You're willing to give up all your connections based on an opinion that hasn't even been proven correct. I leave you with that thought. Is all of that worth the foundational gift of a lifelong friendship. Loved ones, family members, you're willing to cut all that loose based on a humbug. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So when you think, when you take yourself that seriously, remember that it's a devilish work you hear me? It's devilish. It's earthly. It's sensual. It's evil. And that's why so many people get hurt by it. And some of you are hurting people. Caught up in it. Be very careful what you pledge your allegiance to.